experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes Planet Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the method- Yeah! Look! Yeah, look exactly like that! Okay, okay. Bro, okay, so there's this thing, right? It's called Planet Fitness, right? Plan yeah, Planet Fitness. And, um... Yeah, let me tell you this quick story, okay? Look, let me tell you something. Okay? So, recently, I started going more to the gym and everything. Because I ain't got to lie. Your, your boy's kind of like, you know... But and everything, right? Now, I'm like, you know, he's slowly... Slowly getting some gains, alright? But anyway. So. Let me tell you something, guys. So, this happened, like, uh, a couple, like, a couple months ago. So, what happened, right? Uh, I went to Planet Fitness, right? And the thing is, they asked me, oh... Like, you know, obviously I was going there, stuff like that, but everything. So I went there just to lift weights, right? Because, like, you know, I was like, I want to experience, right? And the thing is, they told me, like, okay, I wasn't making any noises. I was, man, I was making just a face, like, just like a little. Like that, right? And they told me, oh, you're creating too much attention. I'm like, nobody's watching me, only one person. That's because I was new here. And then they just pretty much kicked me out, and I was like, you know what? And the moment I got out, right? The moment, right? I got out. I saw. I'm not joking. The, like, you know, the exit. I saw a table next to it, right? They're legit in the table. They had pizza and donuts. Me repeat that again. Pizza. Like, yeah, pizza. bibbidi bobbidi And they had donuts. I'm done, bro. Like, when I saw that, I was like... No. But, um, that's why I hate Planet Fitness. Whatever go there, probably just to do a little bit of trolling. A good two months. Alright, so make sure to follow Sunny V2. Like, you know, I love his content. Go follow him. This guy, he does his research. To understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, you first need to understand their business model. Planet Fitness was created with the goal of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that of something like Gold's Gym, where bodybuilding is glorified. Everything in Planet Fitness is catered towards the less experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes Planet Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the method- Yeah! Look! Yeah, it looks exactly like that! Okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Picture all the donuts, right? And there's pizza. And I don't, I don't remember, like, what is that? What is that white stuff over there? No, no, no. But I remember it had all of that, right? And, like, they had pizza. I remember they had, like, ranch sauce and everything. And I was like... Nah! To achieve this beginner-friendly image, you'll start to understand why their approach also receives an insane amount of backlash. This image posted to the Gym Memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Fitness leg press reading, We do not cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side, with this note showing that not only are Planet Fitness trying to cater to beginners, but they're also trying to repel anyone who might consider themselves an intermediate or advanced lifter. In addition to requesting that members only only use a maximum of four plates on the leg press. Planet Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area, and no bench press, with the Smith machine being the only alternative for those looking to perform these exercises, or if you're desperate enough, you can evidently use the machine where you'd usually do dips. The gym requests that members refrain from doing T rows, overhead presses, clean and jerks, deadlifts, and even requests that members don't do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells at 75 pounds or 34 kilos, with this number being an even lower 60 pounds or 27 seven kilos, depending on which franchise you go to. Yeah. As an alternative, Planet you know, Fitness like, gyms are instead filled with excessive amounts of cardio equipment, with a possible goal yeah, of encouraging their members to avoid the weight training area yeah, altogether. So basically, Planet Fitness doesn't allow so, you to actually get stronger. The only gym that doesn't like people going to the gym. I went to Planet mm -hmm. Fitness as a joke with one of my friends because your first day you get free- That's the thing about it, like, if you're trying, like, okay, so, that's the thing about Planet Fitness. They don't really want to get you stronger. They don't want to see you get gains. They just want to see you get fit. But it makes no sense when you get out and you see just straight up donuts and pizza and just straight up junk food. That just, that just kills it all.
to test out. So that shows they don't care. I was deadlifting 360 on the Smith machine and I put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager kicked me out because I was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating atmosphere. Planet Fitness having a problem with people who are noticeably stronger than everyone else is something that can also be observed in countless different YouTube videos. I wasn't there a week and I was told, you intimidate the other patrons and uh, we don't like your type here. For example, four times world's strongest man Brian <laughs> Shaw was kicked out of Planet Fitness whilst making a fairly relaxed YouTube video with this piece of content pairing another titled Planet Fitness Cancelled My Membership After 500 Pound Bench Press, cementing their dislike for those who go to the gym to push their limits. As an extra measure to avoid intense exercise, yeah, Planet I remember Fitness that, also the has lunk alarm. notorious lunk alarm, which can be triggered by Planet Fitness staff anytime they see a member working out too intensely. <laughs> Lunk alarm is actually pretty goaded. If it goes off, it means that you're making gains and the staff is just making sure that everyone knows that you're built different. But while this person managed to frame the lunk alarm as beneficial, on a wider like scale, that. the concept has been criticized you're pretty damn the heavily. No. The alarms are set to trigger when they detect muscles actually contracting. Actually, he told me I was lucky that lunk alarm didn't go off. Dude, I wouldn't care either way. I'm like, shouldn't you go to the gym just like, pretty much like self-improve and like also like, pretty much give it all? Give it all you got, so it's just, it makes no sense. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Also, Planet Fitness uses tornado warning sign to replace the noise of normal gym activities. Yeah. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strain lifters. It's also startling, which can cause severe injuries to anyone under load. And in addition to simply having the lunk alarm, there are countless comments describing ridiculous situations during which the alarm has been sounded. I accidentally dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk alarm went off. I got kicked out. The lunk alarm goes Bruh. off if you accidentally drop a pen. I seen that. Yeah, yeah, you drop it on your dog. Yeah, that one. But to be fair to Planet Fitness, both gym members and the staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yes, there is a lunk alarm. However, I've never even heard it go off. That's I've worked cap. at two different Planet Fitness locations and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends on the individual locations, oh, yeah, whether well, they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed to use it, that it was more of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think it mostly depends on the manager you get. Treat the alarm as a sign of a good or bad manager. If that alarm sounds, yeah, it's time okay. to find another gym. As a person who works at Planet Fitness, we never set the lunk alarm off. We don't pull the lunk alarm. We don't pull it because there's no purpose to like, you know, on the flip side too, we like to have fun. Sometimes as soon as we just hear anything, boom, we just pull it. And it's different when your manager is there and when your manager is not there. However, while the alarm can be dismissed as somewhat of a meme, drinking out of a gallon water jug as well as their dress code are both something that Planet Fitness does. I, I guess they're mad you being hydrated. Does take extremely serious oh oh no, no no and also hold on they're getting mad because of my bottle like bro i remember okay so i had like a bottle right it, it was a 16 ounce right a 16 ounce bottle right it, it's pretty much like oh well it's in my kitchen but i'm not i'm gonna go there right now but like dude it's like like this yeah this tall right and they said oh like it was like this to here and like they told me Oh, your bottle is not how do you call it the list here. I'm like, that's not a gallon. That's 16 ounces. Do you know what's 16? Do you know what's 16 ounces? It's. I'm sure it's not a gallon. They got mad at that also. So. The point is that Obviously. You, in the previously me. mentioned video where Brian Shaw gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, Dress code. To maintain our no gym intimidation environment, please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops. Thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do-rags, skull caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes, this dress code is definitely the next reason behind why the gym is so hated. I used to have a Planet Fitness membership, and on multiple occasions they asked me to go home and change my gym outfit to something less revealing. I was wearing a tank top and shorts, lol, or they would give me one of those hideous white t-shirts with their logo to cover myself up. In this video titled Planet Fitness Fail Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle. One of the workers did a beeline for me one time while I'm working out, interrupts my set and is like, oh, you can't have that gallon of water here. Whilst another member was denied entry altogether, I see that video. was too big to fit in their designated cup holder. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle 
And Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle would not fit into her cup holder. Imagine asking someone to leave because they're drinking water and being healthy. For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is judge. And this is why their approach is so controversial. Yeah. The judgment-free slogan is targeted toward their main demographic, beginners. But in order to achieve this branding, they have to be judgmental toward anyone who isn't a beginner, making their approach incredibly hypocritical. So no judgment except you get to judge. That's right. We won't judge or criticize you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. No judgment zone unless we are the ones judging. Planet Fitness. Should I just go like, you know, I, I'm actually picturing this in my head. Should I like be like buff? Like I'm saying like, what? This has to be like a year or two later, right? Should I become like really buff? And just go to the like Planet Fitness and I just want to see like, oh, I just want to get a membership. I want to see the say yes or no. I'm actually curious though now. Actually, I might have to try that. You never know. No judging. Also, Planet Fitness judges anyone who actually wants to work out properly, with this criticism also being bundled in with more sinister theories about why Planet Fitness fights tooth and nail in order to maintain their judgment-free branding. If you think about it, the entire concept is an incredible idea. By keeping the judgmental people away, you only attract the insecure who pity themselves. At the same time, you keep away any serious lifter who could show what is possible, therefore reassuring these half-heartedly gym goers that what they're doing is absolute peak performance. The picture of Roy raging testosterone monsters is planted mm. into people's heads, thus binding them even stronger to that gym. Financially speaking, it's a masterpiece. Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory. I'm sorry to pause it, but I wonder how Planet Fitness became this big thing. That's my good question. No! Oh my god! to keep their members out of shape so they'll continue to pay for membership. On the first Monday of every month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during which free yeah, pizza... Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the pizza. After, and even during their workouts. Then similarly, on the second Tuesday of every okay. month... Okay, so this is how I can describe it. So picture the left, right? I remember the left, right? The donuts, of course, they had the donuts. And the thing is, they had the cups, right? And then the right side, I remember they had a boxes of pizza. I remember like, like one stack, it was like 12 pizza boxes. That's what I remember month, Planet Fitness has Bagel Tuesday following the same concept but with free bagels. Planet Fitness makes a pretty decent argument for why they consider this to be acceptable, stating on their website, it's okay to indulge in a treat every once in a while. The truth is one slice of pizza isn't going to destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. Moderation is key, yet as you might expect, these free junk food days have come with even more public backlash. I'm doing like squats and deadlifts and the smell. Okay, that part I do have to agree, but like at the same time, you're in a gym. You're not going to the gym to eat pizza. You feel me? The smell of like a hundred pizzas is coming at me. It's just not right, Planet Fitness. Come on, the pizza being in the gym, it's just not right. They don't go together. See? Offer free salads, offer free, I don't know, protein, protein shakes. Yeah, but there pizza? you go. No, Planet Fitness. Pizza at a gym is like having AA meetings in a bar. Nothing like getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards, hashtag gains. It's actually a genius tactic. You go there to lose weight and get in shape. They give you pizza, you gain some weight. You have to go back to lose that weight. Keeps you in that gain weight, lose weight cycle. Planet Fitness not actually wanting their members to lose weight might also explain some of the other things that you can get with your membership, such as their total oh, body enhancement chamber, which sounding like a pile of infomercial garbage, apparently helps work muscle groups, firms and tones the body, as well as helps reduce stress. However, these no-effort scam machines just bro, reiterate the type of customers me, that Planet Fitness are generally it's going after. Their cheap $10 per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also never cancel their membership because, well, nobody can be bothered to go into the gym to cancel it when it's only 33 cents per day. What do I have to do to cancel this membership? Oh, you have to come into the location or else write a letter. The gym where I stay is 45 minutes away from where I live at. Is those are the only two ways? Yes, those are the only two ways. You have to physically come in to cancel your membership. And judging from some of the videos on YouTube, it seems like this strategy is incredibly effective. I've given them $10 a month for four years and I've never stepped foot inside the gym. Just to add a cherry on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that force you to spend more money before you officially leave. Make sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract... Bro, I'm so glad. The thing is, right, I came in there with a buddy of mine, right? 
And like obviously when uh when how do you call it? he being kicked out for the most dumbest reason, right? He decided to like, you know what, I'm gonna cancel my membership, like just straight away. He told me like, dude, why do you cancel it? And like, dude, it's just like nah, I just don't support them anymore. I'm actually pretty sick of it now. Uh, you know, he's in another gym now. He's in a actually way much better gym than Planet Fitness. But um he canceled it, right? And like it, he told me he didn't even stay there for like not even like at least a month. So I guess he made the right choice. Track then is $150 oh, to get didn't. out of it. I huh? see that I still got a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now my membership is discontinued. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rash. Their business model is to sell memberships to people who don't go regularly. Think about it. There can be 10,000 members for that one gym, but if everyone goes, then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed you wouldn't be able to work out because everyone is using something. And honestly, it's hard to blame them. Businesses are created to make money and with over 2,000 gyms across the globe, Planet Fitness has been extremely successful, yet unfortunately they've done so whilst picking up the nickname Planet Fatness in the process. Planet Fatness? Yes. Subscribe to Zuzah.